today we are going to learn how to add subtitle to an mp4 file to begin with first create a sample.srt file with the following format enter the sequence number followed by the timestamp which you want to use for your first caption so starting with hour then minute and then a second so i'm going to put 04 as seconds and then if you wish to add even the milliseconds that provision is there so you can put a comma and after that you can use the three digits which can indicate the millisecond at which the caption has to get added add a space after that two hyphen signs followed by the greater than symbol and then you wish to display this caption till what time so a start and the end duration again the same format I'm going to make sure that it is going to be greater than the number four that I have added. So I will put a number somewhere around eight, followed by again the milliseconds. Now that does timestamp. And now we want to add the caption that has to get displayed. So I will just say this is my first caption. That's what that seems good. Let's go ahead and add one more. So I'll just copy the existing block add a new line and after that I'm going to paste it. I'm going to put this sequence number as two. I'm going to change the timestamp to let's assume 10 just to see what happens when there is a gap between the previous sequence and the new sequence. The end time I'm going to change it to 30 and this time I'm going to say hello bunny this looks nice. Let's save that. And we are done with our SRT file creation. Now the next step is to execute the FMPEG CLI command to apply this SRT file. But before we dive into that, let me show you the MP4 file that I'm using. So it's a big bunny blender animation that's quite popular. Most of you might be have seen this. Uh, this is that animation, quite good. I downloaded the 30 frames per second animation. You can see that it is evidently quite visible that there are no subtitles present within the video. All right, the file is quite big. It is of 10 minute and 34 seconds duration. Let me just close that. We will quickly switch to terminal wherein I will verify the path. The current path is D colon carbon rider. And it's the same folder wherein we have both the MP4 as well as the SRT file. Let's go ahead and execute the fmpeg command on top of this. So fmpeg, the name of the CLI. I already configured in the system path and that's why I don't have to specify the entire path for the fmpeg, just the name of the exe file. The next argument is to indicate the input. So hyphen i followed by the name of the file. So it is big bunny 1080 mp4. And now we need to apply the video filter, which will help us to specify the SRT file. So subtitles is equal to sample.srt. That's it. Hyphen Y, this is purely optional. If you have any existing file and that needs to be overwritten without any prompt, hyphen Y will help you to achieve that. Now the next option and the last one is to specify the output file. Let me press enter and it will start processing it. Now this file is pretty big, it's close to 340 MB file size and uh, because of that it is going to take a lot of time to process this particular video. What we'll do is that we will not complete the entire processing. Alright, so we have a file which is uh, process till 20th second rather more than that i'm going to quickly close this process so it will create a partially generated file let's go ahead and check that so we have an output.mp4 file let me play that and we'll see whether our captions are generated okay it starts It shows this is my first caption at the fourth second and it goes away till seven seconds it remains and then the next one comes up exactly at the 10 second and goes away at the 12 second. So let's just go back to the SRT file and we'll verify the timestamp. Yes, we have 10 seconds and 13 seconds, four seconds and eight seconds. This is where uh, the captions got displayed and it got cleared from the screen. 
Now there is one catch I would like to explain when we are using an absolute path for an assertive file and that's especially a problem in case of windows. Let me quickly switch back to the terminal and we'll verify the current path. So right now I am inside D colon carbon rider. What if I change the directory and go back to a root directory? Now, so my mp4 file and srt file is no more in the current path. This available inside a different location. So naturally I would like to specify the full path for the srt file for the output file as well as for our input file. So I will quickly go back to our original command wherein we generated this output 1.mp4 so uh, the sample .srt file is specified as subtitle the output name is okay let me just change that so output .mp4 now this is not going to work because both of the files the srt file and mp4 is in a different folder let me just quickly specify the name of the parent folder so we are inside carbon rider and then there is a big bunny .mp4 available and also if I'll specify carbon rider slash sample dot srt dot slash this is not going to work let me press enter and you'll see that it is actually throwing an error if you look at this particular line carefully it shows that dot carbon rider sample srt has been considered as one single file name so that's something is of a concern let's just try to quickly correct that we will also specify the drive name and that also fails so this is a problem especially on the windows operating system let me just quickly show you how you can fix it so the first thing that you need to do is to specify a single quote around this specific path followed by changing the backward slashes to forward slashes and the next thing that you need to do is to escape this colon character so i'll specify the backward slash acts as an escaping character and now if i press enter it should start processing the file it's the same exact processing now it is able to locate the srt file as well as it will start generating the output 1.mp4 or it is actually going to overwrite the output.mp4 file let's give it some time and then we will stop the process to see what happens cool so we are done till 20th second i will just stop the process and now we have an output.mp4 file which is available let me quickly open it into vlc media player and we'll see what happens so it is playing the big bunny animation it reaches to fourth second and displays the first caption it stays there till eight second and at 10 second it starts the second caption congratulations so we learned two different ways of specifying the subtitle first is the relative path and the second is the absolute path i will see you soon in the next video till then take care and build something